Okay, so now that we have all of our holes marked for drilling, what we're going to do is we're going to mark our drill bit for depth. I don't want to drill through the headstock. So we'll just put this, all these tools to the side here. And let me bring in my drill. Now I have mounted a 564th drill bit for these screws. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head of the screw and I'm going to put it to the edge of the drill bit right here. I'm going to take a little piece of masking tape and mark to the end, right to the end of that screw. That's going to be like my depth gauge. Some drills have like fancy depth gauges on it and I just kind of do it the old-fashioned way. I've been doing it forever and it's just the way I do it. Now that I have this marked, let's just double check to make sure that this mark is not going to go through that headstock and see no. It's going to fall short. Have to remember when you're drilling into your headstock, once you get to that just before that tape mark, don't push any further because you can actually push that tape down the drill. It's only tape. It's not really going to stay if you put pressure on it. So you just have to go gentle, nice and slow. There's no hurry. Okay. I like to hold my headstock like this and drill just like this. Yeah, just get down to that. That's all. Clean my bit a little bit. I stop just shy of that tape, just to ensure that I am not going to drill through that headstock. definitely don't want to drill through the headstock because I want this to be a DIY informative video and not a blooper. Just shy of that. Okay, a couple more here. bit. Okay, last two. So you're marking your holes and starting them with that drill bit mounted to my piece of dowel rod really helps this because it just falls right into that started groove and it just makes it just a whole lot easier. Alright, that's that. Now we're all drilled and we're ready to go. Okay, uh, closing uh, in on the end of this uh, installation here, I'm going to uh, chamfer just with my, my little Phillips screwdriver here, I'm going to chamfer the holes a little tiny bit. This helps not to pull up wood with the wood screw, it helps maybe crack any, helps prevent cracking of the lacquer. Drop my tuners back in. And then install the screws. Just snug. We don't want to go too tight. There's no need for that. No need for them to be too tight. And basically you're going to do the same for all of the tuners. Until they're just snug. Alright, last one here. These should wind in smoothly. If they're winding in really tight, you have to use a lot of torque to get these to wind in. You have your drill bit. Uh, it's too undersized. It's too small. Or the wood's really, really dry. You may want to try a little butcher's wax, some paste wax on the screw threads. This way it lubricates it as it's winding into the wood. And that's it. Vintage type Clouson tuners mounted up to the neck. 
ready for the final assembly when the rest of the parts come in. And that's it. I'm Billy Penn for 300guitars.com. Please visit the website www.300guitars.com for the latest product news, product reviews, a forum for discussion, and DIY articles and tips. I'm Billy Penn for 300guitars.com.